Hey guys, what's going on? Culprit here, and today we're going to talk about a topic that's kind of near and dear to my heart, and that's Battlefield 4 as an eSport, as a spectator sport, and, and something I would really, really love to see kind of blossom and get some traction and, and, and see build into the future. Now, let me just clarify, I am not a competitive player, I'm not, you know, I don't aspire to be, I'm, I'm clearly not at that level. I would consider myself their kind of target demographic, the guy that's going to consume all their content, and watch all their matches, and follow it very intricately. Um, I am literally would be a fanatic, I would be a fan of this. Uh, any kind of an eSport, spectator type sport, and, and I'm going to get into kind of what I'm talking about a little later. But I, I kind of wanted to talk about it because uh, on the Friendly Fire podcast over the weekends, a little podcast, streamcast we do, uh, me and the guys kind of got to talking about this uh, after the Battlefield 4 showdown over in London where we saw a lot of YouTubers and things go over, uh, United States versus Europe. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, go look it up. It was, it, was very, it was very interesting to see the spectator mode being used in Battlefield 4 to kind of cast out a competitive match. And, and we're going to see more of this coming now that the release is here. Um, I, I love esports. I love it. I, I love the competition. Uh, you know, I'm a big on League of Legends, LCS, even you know, Call of Duty, big tournaments. Anytime you have the best facing off against the best, it intrigues me. And I would love to see Battlefield uh, move into that, move onto that stage. Now, uh, we kind of talked about it a little bit, and we kind of came to certain agreements that you know some of the things that make Battlefield unique and make it so interesting. Um, are also things that hold it back as far as an eSport or more specifically as a spectator sport. And that's, uh, you know, it's it's a more complicated game. It, it's harder for the average Joe to just kind of click on and be like, oh, yeah, all right, I know what he's doing there. Or, I know what he did wrong there or I know why he's doing that. Because, you know, Battlefield has many more layers. It has a lot more equipment uh, than, than, I'm not going to name other names, but, uh, you know, a lot of the other shooters are a little bit more basic. And, and as well, you couple that with the fact that there's a lot more going on all over the map you know battlefield's much larger scale uh many different pockets of fighting and things and that adds up to much harder to follow as a viewer much harder to cast as a you know a, as a producer so it makes it more difficult so i think we all kind of agreed that you know 5v5 domination uh squad rush back in the day would have been good and we kind of uh, you know we were talking on the cast and and we all kind of agreed on that that obliteration worked very well because you know the bomb as far as you know it works as a almost a ball like football or soccer the, the cameras and the cast and the casters that are helping you get into this game and know what's going on they just kind of have to follow the bomb and that's really what they have to focus on sure there might be stuff going on around it but as far as at least for a spectator sport for an esport for for a production you really can just focus on the bomb and what's going on there and that simplifies things it makes it easier for the spectator they got to follow and it makes it for production to kind of really hype it up and and, and give the play-by-play -play, so to speak so uh my buddy nick gigante who was on the cast with us had a really good idea and he said he'd love to see like a 5v5 6v6 obliteration mode on a, a map the size of like a domination map thing and i think that would be awesome i think that would be incredible because the smaller map easier to cast easier to follow not as much going around uh smaller roster size smaller team uh, much more easy logistically to you know, control and, and keep going um, and, and then just, you know, you combine that with the, the ball effect where they can just focus on the obliteration bomb and it makes it much easier to cast because you're going to say there's 5v5 domination and things and they do that and they're going to be doing that and I think that's probably the, the easiest uh, path for them to trek is 5v5 dom you know, or even 10v10 is probably getting up there um, and, and that's a lot of that is to do with you know, marketing and branding. It's easier to get a team out there that's four or five players a la Call of Duty and, and these players become their own brands, they become their own following, and a lot of that has to do with YouTube, whereas imagine if you had a Battlefield 4 team, a competitive team, an esports team, with 32 players playing every match, while that might be grand and, and really cool to see, um, it would be A, really hard to follow in the match, and outside of the match, it's very hard to follow, there's so many other players, I mean, just think of like, I'm just going to throw NFL football out there, like, nobody knows who the linemen are, nobody knows who, you know, these types of things, only the truly most passionate people know these things. Whereas if you go to like NBA, everybody knows everybody in the NBA if you're an NBA fan because there's only five guys on each team on the floor at a time. So it's much easier to market. It's much easier to build a following and get some momentum, the smaller, you know, gameplay. And it's much easier to follow in the game. And, and that's why I think it would be pretty cool. And I think that's where the baby steps need to be made. You know, 5v5 domination. If they had squad rush, I'd say something like that. Um, like, like Nick had the idea of the 5 or 6 man obliteration mode, I think would be fantastic. If they take something like that on, that would be awesome. Um... As far as format, man, I would love, 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 love to see somebody, even if even if Call of Duty did this. I'm not a Call of Duty guy. I'm not a hater of Call of Duty yet by any means, but I, I would watch this absolutely if they took the LCS format. Now, if you're not familiar with that, that's the League of Legends Championship Series. 
Um, and basically they have, I believe it was eight teams. I think they're going to expand it. Eight teams in a season as we know it in professional sports, at least here in the U.S. and the States. And they play a season and they play each other a bunch of times. And it's you get to know the players. You get to know the rivalries. And you get to kind of the suspense builds. And then there's playoff slots. And it's the traditional structure of a league for professional sports. And whereas FBS kind of follows the tournament structure where every month or two there's a big tournament and you go and you play and maybe you get some rankings out of that and then that carries over to a leaderboard for the season i would love to see a full fleshed out you know eight teams of five man domination and just go at it play each other team five or six the kind of they have these as like competitive kind of private leagues but i would like to see it get up on a bigger stage for esports things that would be incredible you get to know the players the players would get to kind of market themselves and get to be a bigger name youtube and twitch would be you know intimately involved in this and it would just be so much fun it would really you would get to you know it would be fun to see the meta kind of form the positions like different roles and things would obviously you know start to show and surface and different strategies and tactics and and that is really where i think would be the fun of the fun of the whole thing so i would love to see that but uh, by and large i know uh, you know that's getting way out into the future i would just love to see some you know competitive first uh, you know spectator mode using that to you know, flourish and uh, level bf and things like that really kind of take a foothold um but beyond that like a bigger and grow into a spectator sport and an esport and really get some traction for hopefully in the future because i really do love battlefield as a franchise i'm loving battlefield 4 and i'd really love to see it come a little bit more to the forefront where i could kind of turn on my tv and you know send a stream to my tv and just sit down and watch on a friday night you know four or five matches against the best players in the world i think that would be phenomenal so let me know what you guys think in the comments i'd really love to hear it how would you think they could best go about this Give me your thoughts. Uh, if you're a competitive guy, especially you have a little more insight into this as far as from the player side, as I'm strictly talking from a potential fan and a consumer of content. So let me know what you think in the comments, guys. I really appreciate when you do that. And like always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.